Well, did you learn your lesson, fucker? Oh. Oh, dear God. Surprise! Oh, God, I'm sure you guys are wondering, where have I been? What have I been doing? Well, I've been cooking up another review video. Now, a grand total of two people know about this review video. Yeah, I really kept this hidden from you guys. How many of you are surprised? Cool. Anyways, without further ado- hey, asshole! Why are you doing this to yourself? you. Stop it. That guy's rude. You gotta stay the point. Boris and the Dark Survival. Oh, would you look at that? Boris got his own game now. This game was released for Bendy's third anniversary. A quick game to set us nicely for the upcoming Bendy and the Dark Survival. What the shit is this? More on that later in this video. It is a very basic game. It isn't like Bendy with a full building story, but rather just a fun little game to play and... Oh. It has a story. Charming. How does it play, TZK? Once again, my name is not TZK, but let me tell you, young one. You're Boris, and you'll need to survive. Oh my god! That was such a riveting explanation! Nine dollars for this?! Alright, let's actually tell you the plot of this game. You will need to find six random items within the floor of the studio. You really begin to realize how many floors are actually in this studio. All right, what can you do? Well, you can bring back the six random items and go back to the lift. And then you have more supplies. Good for you. You can also lockpick to unlock extra music pieces for Boris to dance to in the safe house. Boris's bone that you give him in chapter three. And the important part things. Did, did I seriously write important part things? Wow. And the plot things to find within these lockpicks are scraps. There are seven of these to collect and they will play a cutscene after you get them more. More on that later. Of course you can't do this easily. You have that inky bastard chasing you around again, but this time, well, he's actually kind of easy to get around. So it's not that hard of a game. However, you don't want him chasing you forever. So you want to use little miracle stations that are used in chapter three of Bendy. They behave the same way as well. Just go inside the station, Benny will chase you until he gets to the station, and just give up on that chase. You are allowed sprinting as well in this game. You have a bar that allows you to sprint, but once you run out, you're out. Refill? Well, just go to the soup station, and your bar will be replenished. Use your sprint how you'd like. Get the level done faster, get away from Bendy, whatever you want to do, it's how you play the game. This game is well made, and I had a great time playing and recording footage for this game. It's a game you can just pick up, play a few rounds, get your dose of Bendy gameplay for the day. Whoa! And whatever that was. So, there's a story. Collect all the scraps, walk up to it, it'll trigger a cutscene. I didn't have the scraps fully collected before this video, so... It's fucking spoon. Where is the fucking spoon? That's not a spoon! When does this game literally become impossible to find spoons? Boris, your fucking spoons in this world are like literally ten, size the, ten times the size of your fucking face. You can find it. I can't even find the, half the spoons in my fucking apartment. You expect me to find a fucking spoon out here? Oh, look, spoon! Oh, shit! Once you collect all the scraps and approach the image, you'll learn, finally, what that image is. It's
It's what Boris used to be. So we learned that Boris used to be a human and look like this guy. According to the wiki, his name is Buddy Boris. He's formerly known as Buddy, and he was turned into Boris. You learn this stuff in the book. I've not read the book, so without this knowledge, I would feel lost on what this meant. It looks like you need to read the book, you need to play the games, you need to buy my merch. Wait, I don't have merch. Buy Bendy merch to understand the lore of this game. It seems a little complicated, but understandable. After this cutscene, you hear a sound. A very familiar sound. These events for Boris happened before the main game. Now, on to the DLC. There's quite a lot of stuff, and I wouldn't be surprised if this was planned at launch, but with the anniversary coming up, they decided to leave it as DLC a month later. What's in this DLC? Well, I have officially decided to rename this DLC to the Everyone Hates Boris DLC. I mean it. There are dead Boris bodies that you have to explore, and upon exploration, you get tape reels from some girl named Mila. She's some girl who lost in the studio and begs for your help. I don't know why I'm even recording this, but I don't know what else to do. Please, whoever you may be, I need your help. My name is Mila. If you found my messages, here is my last one. So this is my final plea. If anyone is out there, if there's anything good left in this world, look for my hidden key. But her voice sounds a little familiar. You have to collect her five tapes and then find her key, and you can open the door next to the tape recorder. Is Mila in there? Boris thinks she is. But no, it's actually Needy Angel. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, she's kind of back now. Uh, remember when I said everybody hates Boris DLC? <laughs> Needy Angel's gonna get her hands dirty for this one. Are you shitting me right now? There's more shit? The music of her chasing Boris is incredible. Escape her from this level, and Alice Angel has been added to the rotation of creatures to chase Boris down. You think you can hide? Alice Angel Encounters Unlocked. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh yeah, they added the projector man. <laughs> From my understanding, you need to grab enough hearts in the main game to activate him in rotation. So what else does Everybody Hates Boris DLC include? Well, there's a mini game inside this mini game. You collect six odd fuses, and instead of unlocking some plot like you're probably expecting with collectathons, uh... No, it's just a game of... Wait, what the hell is it called again? Brick Breaker! But only hitting one at a time. Just like the base game, it's endless till you fail, and then try again. Be the highest score of 15, and you will unlock an audio log from Wally. -E. I can't be bothered getting that in this video. It was a struggle enough to collect all the scraps, so I'll stream it someday. Don't worry, guys. Yes? The jump scares. How do those look for every character? Well, they each have their own unique jump scare, which is actually pretty cool. Alice does her crazy maniac run at you, Projectionist does his swipe that he does in Benny Nick Machine, and Benny has kind of a unique one. It feels like the chapter one jump scare, the third rendition. Not these ones. The music in this game is different as well, but very good different. Each character has a different chase song. Bendy is high paced and not Little Devil Darling. Projector Man has what seems to be his original chase song, but modified a bit. And Alice? That scream and high upbeat music, goosebumps when I first heard that. When I first saw this game, I seriously thought, this looks like a Showdown Bandit. Why is it Showdown Bandit? But after playing this, this is not Showdown Bandit. 
This is not Bendy and the Ink Machine. This is its own game, and it's called Boris in the Dark Survival. I actually recommend this game. It's only $1 on Steam. It's also on Mobile Advices. This game is honestly one of the most universal games that you can play out there. This DLC is also free, which it didn't need to be. But it's very generous of the Joey Juice Studio team to give us so much content for such a small price. Only thing is, it's not on console, and I can almost promise it will never be on console. It's already universally available through mobile and PC. And you don't need a god PC to run this game. An operating system that no longer is supported by Windows uh, runs this game. If you're a diehard Bendy fan, check this game out. And now, to conclude the video. It's okay, Boris. He can't hurt you. As long as I have you, he won't get to you. Well, I want to live. You're on your own.